What is going on Flow Gang? Today we are in cloudy, beautiful Canada. Uh, sorry about the clouds and stuff you guys and like the grayness of the whole vlog that is going to be today's vlog but uh, I didn't get a chance to film yesterday when I got in because you know I was chilling with the famo, catching up and stuff and just learning about the place and it was sunny yesterday but hey it is what it is. We're at a very beautiful estate. So pretty much this video, I'm going to be kind of showing uh, my family's like little estate that they have. Well, not even little, bro. It's like, I, I think like seven or eight acres or something like that. But very, very beautiful. Like as you guys could see, all the all the trees and just the nature like i love nature places man like don't get me wrong like i was born in the city city boys up you already know but hey nature is number one over anything over skyscrapers over the ocean well not over the ocean because the ocean is nature but over everything nature is the best bro so like that's why i'm out here showing you guys they have a nice garage but guys if you look behind me, and I'm going to get closer to that for the next clip, um, there's a Camry, and we're going to talk about that right now. But right behind me is Camry number one, guys. Camry number one. Now, I want you guys to pay attention to every single Camry that I am going to show you guys in this video because these, like, my family has a ton of these cars, bro. This car, bro this car now they go by kilometers here in canada but it has over six hundred and seventy thousand kilos on this one engine bro that's like i want to say like four hundred thousand or so miles which is ridiculous and i don't know if you guys have heard about the million mile lexus if you haven't you should probably watch some of those videos after you watch this video though but the million mile lexus is like one of my favorite cars it's it's ls a lexus ls 400 i believe and really beautiful but as you go out here you go into like the open area and i know some of you guys guys might do gardening and stuff like that we have a beautiful garden i'll try to get a better view of that for you guys but very beautiful garden just really nice outdoorsy area bro the air over here mwah, bro fucking fire bro absolutely amazing crisp just ah, bro you could breathe like you can like i because i know like i visited new york last year and bro the pollution and just everything in the air man you really like feel it you smell it you just it, your insides like your body you can't breathe the same but when you're over here man that's not an issue at all bro and last night we were actually walking uh this trail and like bro it was so pitch black like it was scary but here's a better view of the trail you guys but it just goes it goes and goes and goes it's super beautiful super nice there's a creek back here i'm gonna try to show you guys and stuff um but last night we were walking in like the pitch black that shit was scary we had flashlights and stuff but bro like as you can see by like this big trap where is it where is it where is it where is it hold on it's right it's right back there you can't really see it too well but there's like a really big trap and you know we have they have coyotes um deer uh, rabbits you know multiple different animals bro my cousin said that he ran into a beaver one night and just bolted the other way and, and he busted his ass on the way running away but nah man like this trail is sick they have like a nice little tent set up over there and it's just a really, really beautiful area, guys. Like, I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far. I know I am. Like, this is super, super lit. Super fun. I'm going to try to go and find the creek for you guys. And I'll get back to you. Let's go. Before I show you guys the stream with running water, we have this pond with settled water. And now, legally in Canada, you cannot own a stream of water. Because, like, for energy reasons and stuff, they don't want you putting, like, a spinning wheel, for example, and, like, collecting energy. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know how the government be. That's how it is, bro. And, like, I heard, like, with the toll roads in Canada, um, apparently the government, like, the people pay for the toll roads with their taxes. And stuff like that and then the government builds them the government owns them for a little bit and then they're bought out by private companies that then charge you even more for the tolls so it's it's pretty messed up how they do it but we're on the way to the to the creek now to the stream now there's a little bit more gardening for you guys but let's go check out the stream and uh wish me luck bro because back here can be kind of scary by yourself not gonna lie now this this is nature i know i'm recording in 1080p so you guys can't really capture the full 4ks quality of it anyways cameras don't do places justice like that anyways but guys i just hope that it's doing some type of justice i hope that you guys could see that but it's very beautiful back here super peaceful you could hear yourself think bro like if you guys are smokers and shit you guys can smoke over here like bro it's this place is great 
absolutely just it's disney bro like it just reminds me of like a disney wilderness area or something like that bro it's just it's like it's just so majestic bro and like you can find places like this in florida but they'll be very murky moss like muddy and just they'll probably have to traverse through water and stuff and like he definitely can't afford in a state like this with like something like this in florida man like it it goes up there um and the houses in the area are also pretty pricey i'm gonna try not to step on mud but the houses in the area can be pretty pricey like there's there's a house like across the street going for uh 3.6 canadian dollars which i think we transferred it out to be like two point something million american i think could be wrong on that though correct me if i'm wrong but I'm getting a little nervous, bro, because I'm going pretty deep in here, and I'm, I don't think I'm supposed to be doing this. I mean, I'm a 24-year-old 24, 24 man, bro. I got to grow up someday, you know? But I really wanted to show you guys this next spot because... So, this is where my cousin Brian, like, he'll enter the water from here, as you guys can see, because, like, it gets kind of lower. But let me take you guys to the next spot because the next spot is really really sick and i do want, want you guys to see that this is the spot that he says that he chills at a lot gotta watch my step oh my god i almost tripped and died <laughs> dude how far is this place oh my god holy holy i'm still walking guys i've been walking bro you guys know bro it's been over a minute and we've been walking together so <laughs> this is crazy but i'm pretty protected from like bugs and stuff let's get through here and we made it you guys i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna make it back because but it's a pretty solid trail to like know where you're going and stuff so i should be good but uh yeah brian just sits on this bench my cousin he has a dope ass name too bro just like your boy and he just chills right over here by the stream he wants to put up like a hammock and stuff but man this estate is crazy i got another trail that i'm going to be showing you guys but bro brian and his family they're making this Canada trip a 10 out of 10 for me. I'll tell you guys, like, the reason that I don't have any airport footage, bro. The Canada airport sucks, bro. I think we flew in to the Toronto airport, if I'm not mistaken, and it just sucks, bro. Like, I also brought my PlayStation, like, in my bag. And, you know, I was carrying my bag completely fine. I brought it on the plane, packed it up. Everything was good, you know. And then we went through the airport. First of all, getting through the airport took, like, a whole hour with that giant duffel bag, man. It was it was rough it was a lot it was not easy sorry i'm a little out of breath bro i don't be walking like this that often i'm pretty fat need to lose some weight no cap as you guys could tell but like i was saying bro the airport is just crazy like too many people it's not even just that bro it's just confusing bro the layout is just super confusing it just doesn't make any sense bro and like you have to traverse so far to get to where you had to go and like we picked up a rental car and what i was saying about my bag is when the guy picked us up in the shuttle to take us to the rental car place this motherfucker threw my bag like it was nothing in the trunk bro and like like it flipped over like i still don't know if the playstation is good the camera's good like as you guys could see the camera was in a really weird spot too like i was scared that it could have gotten messed up but the camera's good which is nice but that's what i was dealing with and i didn't i pulled an all-nighter uh two nights ago when and we left so i pulled an all-nighter the night that we left and we left at around like 3 30 in the morning uh to the airport and it was just it was rough i didn't get much sleep but i got a whole night's rest last night and man like like i was saying bro brian and his family are making this trip like a 10 out of 10 for me i've been having a blast and i'm going to show you guys the other trail when i get a chance um but pay attention to the camrys because i think that's what we're going to do next i think i'm going to show you guys some more camrys and you guys i want you guys to go in the comments down below right now if you made it to this far in the video and let me know how many camrys do you think this family owns bro because i'm going to tell you right now you won't even be able to guess I, I'm, I'm just going to tell you right now so another thing i wanted to show you guys is this firewood you guys this is one pile of firewood and they have multiple different piles like this scattered throughout the entire estate and bro there's they have firewood for years for like the next five years to come like they have so much firewood as you guys know the winters in canada they aren't easy so there there's obvious there's obviously a reason for it and um man my cousin and his family they're grinders like I respect the hell out of them for doing what they do but guys i really hope you guys are enjoying the vlog like i was saying i know i'm talking a lot but hey you guys know me as as talkaholic brian bro that's who i am that's who i'll always be i'll never change for nobody but hey hold on let me show you guys some more firewood 
right over yonder big pile imagine lighting that thing on fire bro shout out to my boy gustavo he probably would want to do that okay you guys and here's camry number two now brian didn't really tell us the story too much about this one so i don't know anything about it but i really like the nice red coloring on it um i think that type of red is rare or was rare for camrys or i could just be dumb right now and he probably painted it painted it but i don't know regardless that was camry number two i'm about to show you guys some more camrys though <laughs> again type in the comments below how many cameras you think these people have bro because you'll never get it right all right and it's a little dark but here's camry number three nice great color on this thing but hey hold on let me get the back let me get a better view here we go the sun's coming out but that's camry number three and i'm gonna take this all in one clip but there you go camry number three guys you won't believe it bro they have so many and they used to have more some of them like they junked and things like that but camry number cuatro <laughs> bro the amount of camrys in this house is actually crazy I'm trying to keep my voice down a little bit because my family is actually right up there i won't be able to get too much footage of the inside but here's camry number four and then that's our rental uh crv honda crv they're pretty decent cars but they're not built for our family because we have like five of us six of us in that car and my sister has this to sit on my mom's lap and it's just it's not easy but i'm gonna try to show you guys next like inside of the basement where i'm staying and i won't really be able to show you guys more than that inside because again like my whole family is here and i don't want to bother anybody so let's go check that out right now though we are now in the basement trying to keep my voice down because we have people right upstairs but we have the kitchen nice little kitchen and um you come in here and this is actually where i'm staying um right in here the lighting is not the best i don't know the but i'm sleeping on that couch it's a little messy my bad you guys i'm a messy sleeper bro i've always been like that i gotta get better this is the bar bro here's one i'm gonna show you guys one thing really quick let me cut to that it's super sick at the bar a plane made entirely out of coors light bottles bro there's nothing on here that doesn't have something to do with a Coors Light, um, not bottle, can. Absolutely sick. Nice classic car. You got your bar. Nice. 